Game captain wears jersey number seven, Madeline Irenea Madayag. At number one, Maria Lina Isabel Molde. Wearing jersey number three, Maria Dina Isabel Wong. Number 10, Katrina May Tolentino. Number 21, Regine Ann Arrocha. And number 22, Cherry Rose Nunag. Starting libero is number 13, Denise Michelle Lazaro Revilla. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alin Sunurin. Let us welcome our Army Black Mamba Lady Troopers. At number two, Sark Private Mary Ann Esguera. Wearing jersey number seven, Private Ivy Perez. Number nine, Corporal Honey Royce Tobino. Number 14, Private First Class Nerisa Bautista. Number 16, Corporal Lutgarda Malaluan. And number 21, Private Jeanette Villarreal. Starting libero is also their team captain, Sergeant Angela Nunag. Head coach, Sergeant Randy Fagliorina. This is match number 17, preliminary round. Good luck to both teams. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. We welcome you inside the Phil Oil Echo, Echo Oil Center here in San Juan. Billy Capistrano with Jamie LaVittoria and of course Jaime Ascalon, our courtside reporter on your screens. A while ago, we saw the starters for both the Chocomucha Flying Titans and the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. As we get set number one underway, but first things first, Jamie, we saw something a little bit different. Uh, in the starting lineup of Chocomucha. Yes, we noticed that Reg Arrocha is starting and Nunag as well. So maybe this is the lineup that was in preparation during training and might help Chocomucha win today. Absolutely. And we're going to get more information, hopefully, from Jaime Ascalon if he can ask Coach Dante Alunsunorin why Des Cheng and Bea de Leon are not starting in today's game. And as we all know, these two teams, they want to bounce back in our match today. Army has not won a single game in our All-Filipino Conference. On the other side, Choco Mucho, two straight losses for them so far. For sure, both teams will bring their A game. Now they want to bounce back and get that run for, for winning. Exactly, and that is very important. As I mentioned in our pregame, they are hanging by a thread here in our conference as we get back to this game. Chocomucho with an early lead in set number one. That was Hurricane Katrina with a cross court right on the money for her. Yeah, she's avoiding the hands of Army there. So great job by Tolentino. And Reg Arrocha, a decorated player in her collegiate years. Glad to see her starting in today's game as Perez will go to Malaluan for the slide. And that goes to the Lady Troopers. And it's important for Army to vary their attacks, not be too predictable. And that's the only way that they might prevail this game. And hopefully for Army today, Jamie, a couple of their players step up because the past few games, it has been just Royce Tobino with a little help from Jeanette Villarreal. You could see that they're smiling, they're enjoying their the body language. Yes, and they were listening to Rihanna in their warm up. Right. So they're pumped up for today's match. Well, who wouldn't be pumped up listening to Rihanna <laughs> as we take a look at this service ace from Malaluan? That's Luth Malaluan, one of their middle blockers, a mainstay here for the Army Black Mamba energy drink team. 
And they regain that lead 3-2 to two here in set number one. She goes for the serve, and that goes outside. Puntos para sa Choco Mucho. And sometimes with that outside serve, the adrenaline is high, the emotions are high, and sometimes you feel like you're tapping the ball, but right. it's actually stronger than you think it is. It goes the other way, and right now we are tied at three all. Perez to Villarreal. She's been doing well, and she gets that point. One point lead now for the green shirts. Villarreal has been effective, especially also in their last game against Sakari. And really, it's not easy to just switch positions, no? It's, it takes a while for things to get in motion and to get your groove. And that's what's been happening to them the past couple of games. Their games have been close. They have been gritty. They've been playing fairly well. They just can't really find that rhythm. And hopefully, if you're a fan of these ladies, they find that groove today. So far, so good for the green shirts. They are blocked. Maddie Madayak here. And Army is prepared for them. They've studied their opponent, and they know the patterns and all the things that need to be executed for this game. Absol absolutely. That will be another point for the Flying Titans. On your screen, we have Issa Molde through the block. Look at that approach there, explosive. And I consider her a silent killer. No, she's not given the ball the majority of the time, but when she does, she's effective and she just kills it. And you know what, Issa Molde also isn't the flashiest yes. of players, but she's very efficient, especially for the Flying Titans. And that will go to the white shirts. But we can see that Army will be calling a challenge, an early challenge here in set number one. Villarreal says there was a touch. She looked at the bench. And therefore, they will call this challenge. Now we wait for the replay that we will see on our screens in just a little bit. But we were talking a while ago about Bea De Leon not being here, as well as Des Cheng. She's not starting this game. What do you think you know, are the adjustments that Coach Dante is making in today's match? Well, he, I'm sure he's studied his own team, no, not just his opponent. So he's trying to figure out what lineup and what starting six will be effective for today because they are coming from a two-game two loss. As we take a look at your screens, it looks like there wasn't any block touch. Very close, though. Very, very close. Could have gone either way. And that is an unsuccessful challenge for the Lady Troopers as we turn it over to Jaime Ascalon for his report. Go ahead, Jaime. Thank you, Billy and Jean Ewell, the Chocomucho Flying Titans. It's been nine days since their last game, which is why in their nine days, they had a lot of time to reflect. And one of the reflections, especially after that Dreamline game, was that they needed better blocking, which is why in those nine days, they focused a lot on their system blocking. So we'll see if they get to answer Coach Dante's call in today's game. Now you uh, asked me earlier, Billy, about Des Cheng. Well, she's feeling a bit... Uh, under the weather, according to the coaching staff. So we'll see if she gets to play for today. Back to you. Thank you so much for the information, Jaime. It's good to know that she's not, you know, that she is here. Yes. There's no ma any major injuries. That's right, that's right. And that she's just under the weather. We'll get well soon, Des. Yes. And Regina Rocha has got her covered. And there she is on your screens wearing her warmer. As we get back to this game, here comes Bautista. No go. They're going to give this or send it over to the green shirts as Ivy Perez will try Bautista again. What a good dig by Lazaro Revilla. They go to the other side. Arrocha unsuccessful. This time Hurricane Katrina from the back row. She is blocked. They try the other side. Arrocha drop ball. And we got a rally going on here. Perez. And that was Dina Wong, the fan favorite. Billy, I think that's the longest rally that we've had today. And I love the aggressiveness with Dino Wong ending with that one-two play here. You know, I agree with you on that, Jamie. Well, these two teams, essentially, they have nothing to lose. Yes. Right? They have nothing to lose. So we are seeing two very 
great teams battling it out today. That was a quick attack for the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. That was Isquera, their middle blocker. Yes, and great set by Ivy, activating her middle uh, her middle sparkers early, and that's that's the way to run your office not offense with not being too predictable and adding variation to that. And she is handling the playmaking for the green shirts as Arocha challenging those blockers on successful jazz at the net. They go back to Arocha. Bautista. Almost, but not quite for Issa Molde, as Bautista will get that point, and we will send you to our first technical timeout of set number one. Thank you so much for joining us here this beautiful Wednesday. And to start things off, we have Royce Tobino feeling great in today's game. Of course, Catalentino as well. It is a Thursday. A little lost in the, the middle of that week. We have Catalentino, Dina Wong on your screens, main setter here for the Flying Titans. As the green shirts prepared to serve here in set number one. We have Esguera. That was a good serve. They're going to salvage this. It's going to be a free ball for Army. Perez with a one-two play. It is good for Ivy Perez. And Ivy Perez has been great offensively the past few games. So she's using her talent with that drop ball here being so effective. And you can see Choco Mucho is not ready for that. And right now, Jamie, if we take a look at our scoreboard, two-point lead for the green shirts. Great start for them. Wong will chase it and will set up Regine. She's denied. A chance here. Arocha again. <laughs> And, you know, a little bit of miscommunication here on the part of Army Black Mamba. What happened there, Jamie? Yes, they're actually scrambling on defense here. They're not knowing where Reg is going to spike the ball because they haven't studied her. It's her first time right. being an open spiker in their game. So this could be effective for Choco Mucho today. I agree with you on that. It was a great adjustment also. I mean, we all know how capable Reg Arocha is. Glad to see her getting those minutes here. This Thursday, I got that right. <laughs> Jocelyn, again this time, it is won by the Flying Titans. And really, I have to give credit to both teams. I mean, the score is tied nine. Also, it's really too early to gauge who will prevail the set. Correct. As we take a look at this, four players for the Jows. Arocha all smiles after that sequence. Madayag to serve. Perez, they go to Malaluan. Another point for Luth Malaluan, and that is her third point of the game. You can see Ivy Perez very much activating her middles early. You can see Choco Mucha not knowing where to stand on defense here. And I'll mention it again, it's great to see that they're being versatile on the yes, plays that's right. that they're coming up with. So we gotta credit Ivy Perez for that. And Tobino has yet to score in our game. Arocha again. Nunag was there. Perez to Malaluan. She was checked. Nunag with the heroics as Tobino will try. Wong sets up Regine. <laughs> and Arocha, quality minutes for this lady right here. Yes, yeah, she went down the line there and no one from Army was there. And I have to give credit to her 
body language as well. She's adding a different kind of energy to Chaco Mucho, and it's very uplifting for her team right now. We keep talking about that body language. Everybody feels good about how they're playing. You can see it in their faces, how they're moving. As Wong will give it to Regine. And she's playing more confidently in this game today, Jamie. That's right, that's right. Kat Tolentino challenging the blockers. Kat Tolentino with that classic through the block there. And no fear from Kat Tolentino. I mean, at this point of the competition, they're coming from two losses. So both teams actually are playing to win and, you know, fighting for everything. And really just enjoying this match that we have today as Ivy Perez will give it to Malalu and she is blocked this time. Ball is still alive. They set it over to the white shirts. Nunag, single block. Catolentino cross court, picked up. Villarreal. It's a free ball given to the green shirts. As Perez to Malaluan. And she is feeling it today. Yes, Malaluan again with that running attack. If it's working, Billy, might as well continue. Why not? It. Why not, right? And Ivy, credit against Ivy Perez. Very much activating her middle early. I mean, if you can set your middle now, might as well do it. Just do it. And, you know, in their previous loss against Akari, Malaluan only scored five points. Right now, she is at four points. So great production from her so far in today's match. And that is a service ace for Bautista. And that is a rare error by Lazaro Revilla there. Great serve by Paris. That floater serve there. And Billy, with the floater serve, it actually moves moves when it's in the air and it actually just drops. So it's sometimes you can't hard really to tell. Yes, yes. It's very hard to receive those kinds of serves. Well, Ivy Perez will try again for Army. And this time it sails <laughs> outside. I've noticed in many games that I've played in before, normally when a player has an ace. And it goes the other way. Yes. Of error follows after it. So it's important to be consistent. That must be the worst feeling. Yes. <laughs> but at any rate, hopefully we don't see more of those in today's game. We are tied at 12 all. Arocha on deck to serve for the white shirts. Perez will set up Tobino. She's been quiet today. And finally, she gets her first point here in this match. Great swing by Tobino there, hitting the hands of Ise Molde there and checking out. So we mentioned in their previous game, Tobino scored 20 big points. And she has been on fire here in this whole conference. She's been averaging around 14 points per game, Jamie. Wow, 20 points. That's almost one set a piece there, Billy. And you can just tell her leadership as well and leading by example and being that emotional leader that is lost from Gonzaga with her not being on court. So the other players, they really have to step up. I mean, not just Royce Tobino, Bautista as well, even Ivy Perez with the playmaking, Janet Villarreal that we saw a while ago as Catolentino. Dug up by Perez, they go to Villarreal, now an opposite spiker. Ball is saved, good floor coverage for the Flying Titans. Perez will give it to Tobino. <laughs> Through the block there, that powerful swing, it's, it's doing justice for Army right now. And you can see that Chaco Mucho is having a difficult time with their defense. And hopefully they make some game adjustments right now. And so far, no substitutions yet for the Flying Titans here in set number one. It's a 14, it's 14, 13. Talking about our score, one point lead. Here comes Kat, and gets it through. And that's the set that Tolentino likes, Billy. The quick and fast sets for her because when she has that fast set, she can beat the block like you have on your screen there with only one blocker there. So it's important to make that offense super fast. And right now she has four points under her belt. In their previous game, when they lost against the Cool Smashers, she only had eight points, her lowest production here in our all-Filipino conference. As that point will go to the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And Billy, to add on to what you were saying, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans had 
almost over a week mm -hmm. to prep for this. So not only did they study Black ar uh, ar Army, but they had to practice for their own side of the court. And I'm sure they're very well rested. That's uh, right. As Jaime said, I think it was around nine days of rest practice. So hopefully they do redeem themselves in today's game. And we were talking about her a while ago, talk about efficiency. That was Isa Molde. As we go to our second technical timeout of set number one, Chocomucho in the lead, 16 to 14. Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. We welcome you back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Billy Capistrano, Jamie La Vittoria, and our courtside reporter Jaime Ascalon. This is a game between the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They only have one win so far in our conference. And they are going up against the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. No wins yet. And both teams are on a roll here in set number one. As Catolentino on deck to serve. Tobino from the back row. They give this to Madayag. And that will be Madi Madayag. And that's her first point of the ball game. Yes, and that's right, Billy. And to add on to that, it's important for Chaco Mucho to activate their middles. I mean, they have one of the strongest physically fit uh, middle blockers for Chaco Mucho. So it's important that Dina Wong activate, activates them early. Well, the middle blockers for Flying Titans have been a little silent that's right. for the Army Black Mapa Energy Drink Lady Troopers. Their middle blockers have that's been right. on fire here in set number one, mainly. Luz Malaluan, as we see Nene Bautista as well, getting a point of her own. We have substitutions now for the Lady Troopers. We have Marzan checking in, Barbie Marzan. Right now, two-point lead for the Green Shirts. Madayag again. We also have Gonzalez replacing Perez here as a setter for the green shirts as Wong will give it to Isa Molde. Nobody there for Army. There we go by Isa Molde. Great set by Dina Wong. Great swing by Molde through the block of Army Black Mamba and Energy Drink Lady Troopers. That was a single block by Barbie Marzan. Not enough coverage. They go to Marsan. That was good. That's gonna be a miscue. There was miscommunication. Sails outside for Army Black Mamba. And this will prompt the Lady Troopers to call for time. Coach Randy visibly frustrated because right now, Jamie, it's a six to one run for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And if you remember, Army had that hot start. They started strong, but it's important, Billy, to end strong, no? And with Coach Randy, with that timeout, he was saying to play the game the right way. Dig, set, spike. Keep it simple. No need for all these fancy moves. Just play the game the right way. And right now, so far so good for Chocomucho. Here comes Bautista with a drop. And they weren't anticipating that. Veteran moves 
from Nene Bautista. Yes, and it's important to vary your attacks like you hear, have on your screen here. It's not always about power building, but placement as well. And you see at the donut hole zone of Chaco Mucho. So great volleyball IQ court sense for the veteran Nene Bautista, also one of the mainstays for the Lady Troopers. Audrey Paran checks in and she will be on deck to serve for the green shirts. They give it to Arrocha. And that is outside for Regine, trying to go for that very sharp angle. That's right, she's trying to avoid the blockers. That's right, so unfortunately, it went too strong and too outside. Speaking of blockers, a while back we saw Barbie Marzan. Lazaro Revilla, Wong, Baleke Arrocha, Bautista. Again to Arrocha. Marsan will try, picked up by Tolentino. Pretty long rally we're having as Bautista will go for the cross court, gets the point, and now it is just a one point advantage for Choco Mucho. And as we take a look at this sequence first, veteran smarts for Bautista as Coach Dante Adensinurin will call for time. And to add to coach on Choco Mucho, he was saying that know your area and defense and know the blocking system of your team. They look a little bit mm -hmm. scrambled, which is now they're only at a one point right. lead. So it's a bit messy on the side of Choco Mucho. Right. In fact, it was a 3-0 run for, for Army. A while ago, we saw a 6-1 run for Choco Mucho. Nakahabo naman, you lady troopers. So what a first set that we're having for both our teams. But of course, Cato Lentino has other plans. Let's take a look at this monster of attack from Hurricane Katrina from the back row. I mean, what an explosive spike. And you have to give credit to the receive as well. Mm -hmm. You know, without the, the pass, first ball. without the first ball, you're not able to run your offense smoothly. Speaking of first balls, definitely wasn't a good one for the Lady Troopers as Madayago will score a service ace puts her team up by three points. And Billy, now it's crunch time. It is. It's nearing the end of the first set, and now's the time not to make too many unforced errors because you're giving three points. Exactly. And we'll see what adjustments the Lady Troopers will make. Madaduan, she has been <laughs> impeccable here in set number one. Four points for her. And also a great receiving this time around for, for Army. That's right, and you have Gonzalez. I mean, this double sub that entered a right. few sequences ago is really effective, and it adds something new on the court that might be needed for them. But again, you know, just as you were saying that, Luth Madaluan coming alive in set number one. We gotta hand it to the adjustments of Coach Randy now, including the middle blockers in the mix. I mean, look at their front row right now. A strong lineup right now. This rotation is probably one of their strongest. You have three spikers Agree. in the front row. Here comes Tobino. Tucks it in. Ball is still playable. They set it over to Marsan. Wong will chase it. Give it to Arrocha with a drop. <laughs> Great job by Arrocha there. She knew no one was there, it was open, and adding variation to the offense of Chaco Mucho. You gotta commend the trust as well of Dina Wong. She's been feeding Arrocha this whole set, and right now Dina will take a quick break. Jem Ferrer, veteran setter, 
checks in for the first time here in our ball game. Chocomucho at 22, Army Black Mamba Energy Drink at 20. Gonzalez to Tobino. Like I said earlier in the pregame, expect Tobino to run combination plays. I mean, look at her blockers on the other side, Tolentino. So I have to give credit to Gonzalez for knowing not to be too predictable there. Much like what Ivy Perez was doing also a while back, and That's now right. she is back on the court. Villarreal transitioning to that opposite spiker position, which I'm sure is not an easy one at all, especially because she has played middle blocker uh, since her collegiate years. Not an easy task, Billy. You should know. Yes. You should know. <laughs> well, great adjustment for her as we get back to this game. Munag fires one low go. Here comes Tobino. And that is off the block for the team captain, Royce Tobino. Tobino is hot right now, and they, she is her go-to spiker right now. And that swing, explosive approach, touching the hands of Reja Rocha and Chocomucho. And I'd like to correct myself, it is Jelai Nunag who is a team captain for uh, Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. But nonetheless, Tobino also such a leader on the court, on and off the court, I'm sure. Arrocha on the other side, she is denied. That does not go over. Doesn't go over for Kat. And right now, they will be calling for timeout, talking about the Flying Titans. That's us listen Coach Dante giving specific instructions to Jem Ferrer and now is crunch time for Choco Mucho. I mean the score is 22-23 Army Black Mamba Energy Drink and now is the time for both teams to give their all. You know what, Jamie, we have been saying this, but it's such a great set number one for all our fans. We've had 13 deadlocks and seven lead changes wow. just here in the first set. And you know what, Luke Malaluan woke up in the right side yes. of the bed today. Take a look at her performance. I mean, she's been doing everything for the Lady Troopers here. Fluid motion by actually the entire team of ARMY. They came to win and they came to fight. They are at set point. 24 serving, 22. Ivy Perez serving. Wong chooses Nunag. What a dig, but that sails outside. And the point will go to the Flying Titans, keeping it close here. Great job by Dunan with that be quick attack. I mean, you have two blockers there, but that power in her attack is spot on right now. And that's what Chalkamucho needs right now, Billy. And hopefully they make those adjustments because Army is at set point. Crucial serve for Arocha. Perez. To Tobino, and that's what we expect from your veteran, your go-to girl. She finishes set number one. Let's take a look at this sequence, Jamie. Through the block, Billy. I mean, great power, great set by Ivy Perez, setting her hottest player right now, and it's it's working for the Lady Troopers. And the trust is definitely there. Army Black Mamba Energy Drink 25, Chocomucho Flying Titans 23. The volleyball action continues when we return.
We are back and you're still watching us live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, Signal Play and the Smart Livestream app. Billy Capistrano, Jamie La Vittoria, and Jaime Ascalon in the Army of Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers take set number one, 25 to 23, from the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. It was a close set from that very start and Army had that hot start, kind of dwindled a little bit in the middle, but then fought back in the end. Jamie, what went right for the green shirts in set number one? For the lady troopers, everything was running smoothly. They're communicating as well. It's completely a different team from their past three games. We have attacks from Esguera, Malaluan, Tobino, and I have to give credit to Ivy Perez and Gonzalez for adding variation to their offense. I mean, you can see that they're playing as a team. But how, what about the Choco Mucho Flying Titans? Uh, what went wrong for them in that set? With the receive, the receive is going up, but it's not perfect to Dina. So you cannot set the middles. And you have 18 attacks from the Lady Troopers, both with one block, two aces from the Lady Troopers, one from Choco Mucho, and seven errors from Lady Troopers, and four for Choco Mucho Flying Titans. So despite, you know, more errors here for the Lady Troopers, it wasn't enough for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans to take that set number one. We want to credit Ivy Perez and, of course, Sara Gonzalez for, for the great playmaking they had in that game, or in that set, rather. Bautista and Malalua and the middle blockers here for the Lady Troopers coming up big in that set number one. But, of course, we cannot discredit the Choco Mucho Flying Titans right. as well, Jamie. It, it just wasn't enough. Just a little bit more, and they could have gotten that first set. They need a little bit more eagerness, the hunger to win. And there are some moments that they had during the set where you can tell that they want to win. They just have to work on the unforced errors and communicate more for the set. And, you know, I, I was looking at the bench of the Flying Titans, and I realized that Bea de Leon is not present in today's game. So hopefully we get more information That's on right. why she isn't here. That's why Cherry Nunag has started sets one and right now here in set number two. Same starters for both our squads. It is set number two of our Thursday game, first game of our Thursday doubleheader. Later on, we have another exciting matchup up ahead. Petrogas Angels facing the PLDT high-speed hitters as Ivy Perez, Perez starts things off. Here comes Tolentino. Babalik sa Flying Titans ang bola. Tolentino will try again. Different approach. Wong, back set to Arocha. She's blocked. They give it to Kat. She is denied with a swipe. No go. Malaluan, hot start in that first set. They go to Nunag. An early rally here in set number two. I spoke too soon. Luis Novino. <laughs> Gets that first point here for Army. What our first rally. We just started, Billy. I'm off my seat. And I have to give credit to both teams. I mean, great swing by Tabina there. But they're fighting and sacrificing their body, moving. And you can tell that both teams want to win today. And that is a clear indication, Jamie, that that fire is there. They need to win. They want to win, and they need to win this game. Very important to note as Catalentino will send it over. It's a chance ball for the green shirts. They give it to Villarreal off the block. And that is point number three for the now opposite spiker, Jeanette Villarreal. Villarreal has been that shining light for the Lady Troopers. Spiking through the hands of Regine Arocha. Great job and great focus by the Lady Troopers. 12 points for her in their previous game. Their loss against Akari. Ivy Perez will serve now. That is inside. They let that one go, but that was in. That was right in the corner for Ivy Perez. 3-0 is our score right now, Jamie. I mean, everything is running smoothly for Army. And Choco Mucho needs to make some adjustments mm -hmm. right now before the gap goes too far. Exactly. You don't want... Army to run away with that lead here in set number two. We know what they're capable of. Here comes Kat. They're going to try to chase it. No go. It, has, it reached us, this part of the court. 
and for safety measures, they will not make them get that ball any longer. Well, let's take a look at that sequence one more time, Jamie. Well, you see a change of her spiking techniques down the line this time. You're used to her going cross curve, but she needs to mm -hmm. change it up a bit and add more efficiency for her team. We all know Catalentino, she is a leading scorer in this conference for the Flying Titans. A triple block is effective for Choco Mucho. They're smiling, they're enjoying. Now is the time to fight and give their all. Triple block there by Choco Mucho. I mean, the front row is extremely tall. Billy. Extremely <laughs> tall. Wouldn't want to be spiking up against. Uh, these three ladies in the front, we got Cato Lentino, Cherry Nunag, and of course Isa Molde as Arocha will serve. That bounces back. Could have been a service ace if it had gone through, but it bounced back. Service error for her. And sometimes, Billy, the net is your friend. And sometimes it's not. Yeah. On this case, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> not at all. Not even close. And right now, the Lady Troopers with a two point advantage in our second set. Malaluan serving. Wong to Nunag with a push. They give this one to Tobino with a swipe. Dug up by Molde. Tolentino waiting. Villarreal. It just hit the antenna for Choco Mucho after that dig. Great job by Villarreal. I mean, stepping up for her team and accepting that role. Absolutely, and you know Jeanette Villarreal, she was also an effective middle blocker here for the Lady Troopers. It's nice to see her excelling as well as an opposite spiker, very versatile player that we have. Tolentino denied, she is checked. Perez will give it to Tobino, dug up by Lazaro Revilla as well. Back set to Tolentino again. And with that, let's turn it over to Jaime Ascalon. Go ahead, Jaime. Billy and Jamie, in the first set, we saw some stellar play led by the veterans of Army, Luz Malalua, Nene Bautista, and Royce Tobino. Well, we, to we talked about heart-to-heart -heart in the pregame. They had, had a lot of heart-to-hearts in their PVL careers. They said that they will go through together through thick and thin. And if you ask Royce Tobino and Coach Randy what they wanted to see uh, today, it's that they wanted to finish sets not just stronger, but sharper. And I think we saw that in the first sets. We go, we go back to the ball game as it's Choco Mucho up 5-2. to two. Thank you for that, Jaime, for that report. And it's very important to have, you know, uh, that relationship with your teammates because it will translate on the court. As we wait for a challenge, there will be a challenge called by Army. Let's take a look at that. Inside. That is inside. It is inside. So that will be an unsuccessful one for Coach Randy and the rest of the Lady Troopers. Score now is 5-3 to three in favor of the Green Shirts as Cherry Nunag will be on deck to serve. Two points for her in this ball game. One attack, one block. Perez. That was Isguera, no go. Early celebration for her there. She'll try again, make sure that she gets that point this time around. Esquera again with that eight quick attack. I mean, Ivy Perez is running her offense smoothly. They have the pass and they're running the middle all the time. And that's, that's a sign of a good setter there. Very skilled setter talking about Ivy Perez. Lady Troopers, three-point push here in our second set as Wong finds Isa Molde who powers it through. There we go, Isa Molde, that spike through the block here you have on your screens. Great power, explosive approach, great set by Dina Wong. All right, there you have it. And we just got information from our ever Reliable courtside reporter, Bea De Leon is under the weather, so she's also, she won't be playing here in today's game. As we get back to our match at hand, Dina Wong with a one-two play, he tricks the ladies of the Lady Troopers and gets the point. Great job by Dina Wong. 
This is her second time, no, Billy, with that one-two mm -hmm. play, effective, and it's adding offense to Choco Mucho, and that's what's needed for this set. They will get what they can as Des Cheng sitting on the sidelines, watching on, nothing she can do right now, but you know, it's a one-point lead, still doable, especially when you have your teammates like Cato Lentino, I mean, Isa Molda blocking, Madayaga as well. Speaking of Maddie, unsuccessful. And Esquera off the elbow of Lazaro Revilla. You know, I have to give credit to the defense mm -hmm. of Black of Army. And they were able to dig up Maddie's spike and they were able to attack after their counterattack and after their counterattack. And that's what's helping for the Lady Troopers right now. It is a two point lead for the Lady Troopers. Thank you for joining us wherever you may be. I know we are all enjoying this game. That was a joust, and this time it will be sent over to the Flying Titans. Isa Molde with a cross score. What an exclamation point for Isa. Great job by Molde. Clean hit there. Avoiding the blockers, that cross court hit. Great job by Molde. And Jedi Nunag could not handle that attack, that spike. Ivy Perez with a dump of her own no go, and they go to Kat Tolentino. That will be a miss hit for Kat straight to the net for her as we go to our first technical timeout. Lady Troopers leading eight to six. We welcome you back here in San Juan. Choco Mucho Flying Titans going up against the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. And of course, we have some of your tweets, which my partner will be reading. Go ahead, Jamie. Yes, Sheila IRL. I'm just here to root for Ivy Paris. Talk about a glow up from bench player with other clubs to reliable starter with Army. And we have one more. Master Vic. Don, Don Chich. Don Chich. Hashtag MFFL. Good luck to Choco Mucho. They have been on a slide, but they have shown their potential. Hoping to see Isa Molde get her groove back. We know what she can do. She used to have 20 point triple double games back in her PLDT days. And we have another one. JNTZ cheering for Choco Mucho today at Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Go hashtag Dina Wonks. All right, I think that's pretty much it. And we were hoping for some Tagalog tweets for Jamie. Thank goodness, thank goodness, <laughs> for Billy. For some Filipino <laughs> tweets for Jamie, just to liven things up a little bit. But maybe, <laughs> maybe next time. We'll, we'll try again as we get back to this game. One point lead, make that a two point lead for the Lady Troopers, nine to seven. Great offense by Ivy Pairs there. Zone four. Chocomucha not ready to dig that. We didn't expect that from Ivy Perez. And there will be an error called on the Lady Troopers. It was a positional error, rotation error. And Nunag, I think that was Jedi Nunag, she acknowledges it. That's right. Says sorry to her coach. And right now it's just a one point lead, Jamie. Too close to call, Billy. I mean, eight, nine. Too early to say. Perez with another point of her own. So unpredictable, this setter, Ivy Perez. She's doing a great job being not readable for Choco Mucho here, adding variation and not just setting, but also adding offense for her team. Well, we have a lot of spiking setters here. That's right. In the PVL, a lot of them have been you know, converted into setters as Perez will serve. 
And she's been doing so well in this game, whether it's spiking, setting, even serving. Let's take a look at that again. Two points in a row for Ivy Perez. And you know what? Jamie, seven points for wow. Ivy Perez, the setter. But we did say that their players, talking about ARMY, they need to step up. She has seven points on her stat sheet. We go to Tolentino, tucks it in. Really no fear on that attack. There we go. We can see the Choco Mucho team telling each other, let's go. Now is the time to fight. And great swing by Tolentino there through the block of Malaluan. It is now a two-point lead. Just a two-point lead. Choco Mucho inching closer. Arrocha on deck to serve. Tobino will find Villarreal. Chance ball here for the Fly Titans, and they go to Cat. Ball is kept alive, good floor defense. Babalike, Cat on Bola. Hurricane Katrina is slowly coming back. Great sets by Dina Wong. Quick and fast there. Late blocked by Arnie here. It's now a one-point push, one-point advantage for the Green Shirts. Their lead slowly slipping away here in our second set. Perez back set to Topino. That is way too strong, way too strong for Royce. And right now, Jamie, we are tied 11 all. 11 all, I mean, great fight by both teams here. Too strong by Tobino here. That was not a check to me outside. And she was trying to avoid the blockers of, of Choco Mucho. As Ivy Perez goes to Madaluan. She has been pretty silent the past couple of plays here for the Lady Troopers. And but there's gonna be a challenge. A challenge will be called by the Lady Troopers. They're gonna ask for a net touch. Were you able to, to spot, possibly spot that net touch? I did not see a net touch by Choco Mucho here. But we're gonna, we're gonna check. That's why we have our challenge system. And we haven't had a lot of challenges in right. this game. We just had one in, in the first set, if I'm not mistaken. But at any rate, the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers, they await the final call and to see that replay if there really was a net touch because the score right now, Jamie, is 11 all. And here it is. We will assess. They were saying there was a net touch. I am thinking there isn't. Oh, it was the hair. But no. No. They're, they're checking. Well, you know, the call will stay if ever. But we know that whatever part, right, even if it's your hair or your shirt, Stay. They're saying it wasn't a net touch violation. At any rate, let's get back to this game. One point lead now for the Flying Titans. They take that lead against the Lady Troopers. Perez to Villarreal. Great job by Villarreal there. You see on your screen that power through the box block in between the seam of the block there. Lisa Molden not being able to dig that up. And that is five points now for Jeanette Villarreal in our ball game today. Malaluan serving. Lazaro de Villa will set it over to Cato Lentino. They're going to try to chase it. It's still alive. Great hustle by the Lady Troopers. And that will be an error. An error called on the Lady Troopers and some conversations here on the side of the green shirts. Obviously, they're, they're pretty frustrated with that call. 
Ivy Perez will go ahead and talk to our first referee. second referee para mag-clarify. Meron tayong tip captain para mag-clarify. Okay? I'll give you a misconduct. Okay? And we heard that they, were, they will be giving Ivy Perez a miscon misconduct because the rules are you can only talk to the first referee. You cannot go to the second referee. That's right. High emotion right now. She was saying that the free ball over was in mm -hmm. the antenna, but the refs were saying it was outside. And now we have our second referee trying to discuss things on our side. And the play continues. That point will be awarded to the Chocomucho Flying Titans. You know, sometimes hindi mo maiiwasan pag nandun yung adrenaline, right, Jamie? If you if if spirits are right. high and the, the passion, yeah, and the, the, passion. And the game is close like this. Here comes Villarreal. <laughs> With all the mishaps that have happened to their team the past couple of minutes, that was a good, good point for Jeanette Villarreal. That was a good fire back, Billy. I mean, the block was not there in between the seam of the block, and Villarreal is doing a great job offensively. And she adds that energy mm -hmm. that, that the Lady Troopers need for this game. Absolutely. 13 all is our score. Isa Molde, as Ivy Perez backs it to Villarreal again. But that will go to the Flying Titans. They're gonna call it outside. And the Lady Troopers have no more challenges, Billy. So whatever the refs say goes. We just have to accept it. Chocomucho right now with two challenges still. As Tolentino. On deck to serve. Perez will give it to Esguera. Great job by Esguera. That was a difficult set to give to Esguera. You're very far from her to run that be quick. Great job by Perez. Great job by Esguera. They're very much connecting both of the two players. Great connection by the two teams. These two teams neck to neck here in set number two, 14 all. Wong to Madayag, outside. Oh, that will be a point for the... There, that will be a point for the Lady Troopers. That will be a point for the Lady Troopers, but there's gonna be a challenge. He said that they have two more challenges left, talking about Chocomucho. That's right. And so they're gonna say that there was a touch on that. So if this is successful, Chocomucho will get that point. So there's no Bea de Leon, there's no Des Cheng, only one substitution so far for coach Dante Alensonurin, and that was Jem Ferrer, who served a while back. Let's take a look at this. Was there a touch? Clearly, there wasn't any. Wasn't any, so it's gonna be an unsuccessful challenge. For coach Dante Alinsonurin and the Chocomucho Flying Titans. The point will be awarded or rewarded back to the Lady Troopers. Jeanette Villarreal preparing to serve. Dina Wong for Isabelle out of nowhere. <laughs> There we go, we have the combination mm -hmm. play for Chocomucho. Great receive there, great pass. And this is the time to take risks. This is the time to add those combination plays because they're down a set. So this is needed for Chocomucho right now. And the army, the Lady Troopers, they are hungry for a win. So we know what they can do. Wong will give it to Tolentino. As Perez. Chooses Bautista, she's denied. Chance here for the Lady Troopers. Another great block from the Flying Titans. Unsuccessful drop as they go to Arrocha from the other side. Perez. Maddie was right there. Topino, <laughs> a miss hit from Royce Topino. Parang nanggigit at nang konti. As we go to our second. 
second technical timeout, Chapamucha takes the lead 16 to 15. Watch Minas Filipinas on August 25 or August 27 and or August 29 and be entitled to watch the other games scheduled on that date at Araneta Coliseum. Get your Gilas Day Pass now. Limited passes available, so you should buy now. We're back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Billy Capistrano, JB La Vittoria, and Jaime Ascalon, Chocomucho, leads this set number two, 16 to 15. It is redemption time for both our teams. All important game this Thursday. As Perez will go to Bautista. Here comes Regina Arrocha. Pure power from Arrocha. Great job by Arrocha there through the block. There you have a great defense by Tolentino, bump set by Dina Wong through the block. And this is what Chaco Mucho needs right now, that energy, the passion, and the fight. And that's what's working right now. I mean, the score is so close, Billy, 15-17. It's just two points. Just two points. Again, it's neck to neck here in our second set. Gonzalez is inside the court now, Bautista. Return to sender. <laughs> We're not going to be able to say that there was miscommunication on the part of the Lady Troopers of restrained Royce Tobino. Going back to the bench as we take a look at this. There you have it. Time out, Lady Troopers. <laughs> Crucial time out by Coach Andy there. He sees his team is struggling a bit. I mean, the score is 15 18. Miscue there in the last sequence by Tobino. Now is the time to fight. And I'm sure that they want to crush the momentum that's being gained by Choco Mucha right now. A lot of confidence, Jamie. You're right. A lot of confidence on the side of the Choco Mucha Flying Titans as Isa Mode will serve. It's a three-point advantage for the white shirts. Bautista goes down the line. And no one was there for Choco Mucha defend. Great job. That moves here. I mean, Army is the team that has a lot of experience so they know the game well and they know their opponent and where they're not in defense and what a good timeout called by coach randy sabi mo nga it was a crucial timeout it effective. worked very well very effective but a little too late on that dig as choco mucho leads now by three points let's take a look at what happened there jamie Great one to play, Dina Wong. Okay, Dina Wong. And what I've noticed, Billy, the one to play is normally utilized when a middle serves. No, that's a good. That's a good observation. We'll see if that holds true for the rest of this game. But so far, Jamie, the Flying Titans inching closer <laughs> to possibly winning the set but of course we know the lady troopers you said it a while ago they know how to make those adjustments that was a good ace a very good ace from madi madayag and she will try again gonzalez to malaluan arrocha picked up by tobino gonzalez with a one-two play 
Arocha again. They go to Tobino from the back row. What a good dig. Reg will try. Reg will succeed. High five, Coach Dante. And Sunurin. Reg, great job by Reg Arocha. Great set by Dina Wong, reverse set there. I hope he got that on, on camera. As she walks towards Coach Dante. She's looking for that high five. Coach Dante, poker face though. Focused on the game. Yes, great right. job to, to Reg, finally getting her minutes. Proving her worth. It is 21, serving 16. Perez will choose Bautista. Veteran moves again from Nene Bautista, and that is point number six for her. And just the timing of her points, right? Crucial time for the Lady Troopers in Chakamucha, and they want to close. make it three sets because they do have that momentum coming into that previous set Arocha Perez with a one two play and was it a middle blocker who just served it was not <laughs> <laughs> too early to predict <laughs> but either way that point will go to the lady troopers time out for coach Dante <laughs> Okay. 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 Coach Dante giving Dina Wong their setter specific instructions. Now's the time to take risks, but at the same time, Billy, think strategically. It's not the time to set whoever you want, no, but think on who to set. During these situations, a lot of pressure is put on the setters of both our squads. We have Dina Wong, Ivy Perez. Here comes Arocha. As Perez. Malaluan wanted to go for that quick, but Cherry Nunag was right there. Effective time out there for Choco Mucho. They're listening to the instructions. They're listening to the instructions of Coach Dante. Great job by Nunag Block there. This is what they need right now. Four point lead. They need a point. Talking about the Lady Troopers. Arocha again. It's still with the Flying Titans. Dina to Regine. She is blocked. Scrappy plays for the Flying Titans. They go to Tobino. What a dig by Lazaro Revilla. Perez to Malaluan. Another chance here. And this time Tobino with a drop. We have players falling all over the court. Perez to Tobino. <laughs> that will be a block. No entry. Chocomucho gets that point. Long rally there, ending with a block by Tolentino. Almost, almost there, Billy. As the Lady Troopers will call for time. Kapit Lang says Coach Randy, fight. Now is the time. 1823 Choco Mucho. I mean, this is crunch time for the Lady Troopers right here. All out, all heart. They've won the first set. They do not want to extend exactly. this game. And of course, he was also stressing on the importance of coverage. That's right. Coverage is very, very crucial here, especially against a team like Chocomucho. And Tobino says, not yet. Not yet. And we can see that she has her game face on. 
open set by Ivy Perez. Great swing by Tobino, and that's right. To add it to that, the face that she has after the fierceness that right. she has, it adds, and it's very contagious for Correct. her team. They need to be fired up here. Talking about the Lady Troopers, 19 serving, 23. As Zina Wong will go to Arocha. <laughs> and Regina Arocha, I was waiting for another high five. <laughs> oh, no, one, one time maybe, lang yun. maybe next set. <laughs> but either way, I mean, we gotta commend Regine. You know, she has been coming off the bench. She, you know, in some games, she doesn't even play. But she is ready. That's so important, right, Jamie, for every athlete just to be ready, ready whether you play two minutes the whole game or you don't play at all. Quality minutes for Arocha exactly. here. But there you have it. Service error for Rich Arocha. Adrenaline is high yet again. The set is so close to set <laughs> one. Death check. check. Just wants the set to be over. <laughs> well, not yet says the Lady Troopers, even though Chocomucho is at set point. We have Audrey Paran. And she checks in, goes straight to the service line. 20 serving, 24. Crucial serve for her. Dina will go to Isa Bode. And Isa will end set number two with the Choco Mucho Flying Titans getting it, winning it the best way they know how. Powerful attack from Isa. What a combination play right. from Dina as well. And you were talking about it as you know, the, the whole time, how important it is to change up those plays. Good adjustment by the Flying Titans as we go for a bit of a break. We'll be back for more volleyball action. The volleyball action continues right here in San Juan. You're watching the PVL All-Filipino Conference. And just like that, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans take set number two from the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. And Jamie, what a set number two we had as we take a look at some of the highlights. You can see a change of body language for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They are running their offense smoothly. Dina Wong adding that one, one, two play there. And she's adding combination plays that was not there in the first set. And I have to give credit also to the Lady Troopers. They're still fighting. The score was still near. It just came down to the small little details here and there that could be fixed with the receive, the less errors. And on your screens, we have an even attack. 14 points, three blocks by Chocomucho, one ace by Chocomucho, two by the Lady Troopers, seven errors by the Lady Troopers, and four by Chocomucho. Again, more errors here in this second set from the Lady Troopers. It was 36 minutes My goodness. <laughs> of play. Jamie, 36 minutes of play. The Chocomucho Flying Titans come out victorious in that second set. Let's see what the Lady Troopers can do to redeem themselves in set number three. We have Anis Guerra on your screens, ever reliable for the Lady Troopers. But we want to credit Dina Wong. She has been mixing it up. And how about Regine Arocha getting that high five from <laughs> Coach Dante Alexinuri that Jamie cannot get over. Yeah. <laughs> that high five that hopefully we see again. And siempre si Isa Moldedin. Adding those valuable points here in our game. We're live at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Billy Capistrano, Jamie Lavetoria, and Jaime Ascalon. 
This is our first offering for today's Thursday doubleheader. Ivy Perez will find Bautista single block by Nunag. They go to Catalentino. Perez will find Tobino. She's denied. One to play is no good for Ivy. Way too strong for Reg. An attack error from her. But also, it was kind of a broken play as well, Jamie. That's right. And it's difficult for Spikers to hit that broken play. The angle and the speed of the ball is very awkward, Billy. So great job, though. Great swing. Just two outside. We have Ivy Perez, the main setter here for the Lady Troopers on your screens. She has five excellent sets so far in our ball game. As Dina Wong will go to Reg Arocha. They're going to give that point to the Lady Troopers. Looking at the bench, talking about Reg Arocha. You know what, Jamie, a fun fact is that she has not scored until this game. That's right. Has not scored until this game. She did not play against Akari, did not play against Petrogas off the bench during that cream line game. And right now, she has five points. As Catolentino hammers it through. Catolentino, great swing by her through the block of the Lady Troopers. All out there, powerful spike. Two to one is our score. Lady Troopers up by one point. Arocha serving. This time, the net was her That's friend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna try to salvage that as they send it over. Dina Wong will go to Catalentino. Cross court for Hurricane and Cat as we turn it over to Jaime Ascalot. Well, Billy, earlier you said Coach Dante had a certain poker face. Well, that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted from his players. Telling them in one of his timeouts, Bawal na kasi and the, and the players jokingly smiled. Every timeout, body language was an emphasis, which is why observing every huddle in the second set, for the Chocomucho Flying Titans, smiles were wider and voices were louder. We take you back to this third set. All right, thank you so much for that, Jaime. Indeed, Bawal na kasi and of course, the Flying Titans, they gotta be happy about their performance in that second set. However, again, you know, we're seeing that same storyline, that same story. It's a close third set that we're having. That's right. I mean, it's just two to three right now. Great game right now that we're watching. Both teams are really fighting for each point. This is the set that's crucial, Billy, no? Because that's gonna give you that one up, right? And you know, that second set was 36 minutes long. We'll see if the set is going to be a long one, too. <laughs> Catalanino up top. Nobody home for the Lady Troopers. And that was a gift to Tolentino there. Over receive. Thank you. She's saying thank you there. No one was there to defend by the Lady Troopers. As Cherry Nunag will serve for the white shirts. Three points for her. We're tied at three all as well. Esquera with a quick, effective. Esquera with that B quick. Great connection by Ivy and, and Esquera there. It's been working not only in this game, but also in their previous games. And it's being maximized right now, Billy. And that's exactly what they should do. Maximize on their strengths as Tobino serves. The ball is still alive. They give it to Kat, who sends it over to the green shirts. Lazaro Revilla to Arrocha. Sorry, that was Isa Molde. This time, Madayag will try. Perez finds Bautista. She is blocked. The Twin Towers for the Chocomucho Flying Titans saying no entry, not now. Yes, and Billy, that is their strongest rotation. In the front, you have three spikers there. And now, great timing before Tolentino serves. We're tied at four all. And by the looks of it, Jamie, it's going to be another close third set. That's right. Here goes Bautista. 
Blocking is good for the Flying Titans. And to add on to that, Billy, that is what they practiced on this week, the blocking system. And that, those little details, those minute details of jumping at the same time, pushing your hands over, it's really going to be effective for the Choco Mucho today. Just being synchronized on That's that right. block. And we, we absolutely see that in today's game. Catalantino, 13 points for her as we get back or to our match at hand. Here comes Bautista with a drop. Picked up by Tolentino. They give this one to Isa Molde. Return to sender. Isa again! <laughs> Better attack for her. And the Flying Titans are feeling it in our third set. You can tell the change of body language. They have the momentum. Great job by Molde. Going down the line, Tupino is not there for that. Nine points now for Isa Molde out of the University of the Philippines as Catolentino will serve it. Ivy Perez will find Villarreal. Quick thinking by Lazaro de Villa and Agno as well. And how about Nene Bautista? Just doing the right thing, hammering it through. Even with, with the blockers there, no fear. Using the hand of Dina Wong. And that was not the easiest spike to hit. Right. Not the set was on the net, but like we said, that moves. That's what we can expect from Nene Bautista. Uh, Zino Wong back set to Catalentino. Too much sauce for Jeanette Villarreal. She was not able to dig that one from Hurricane Katrina. And not only has Tolentino been effective in the front row, but they have that back row, and that's what you call the eight. The eight spot there has been effective all throughout the conference. And Jamie, right now, Catolentino with 15 points in our game. Remember, against the Cool Smashers, she only scored eight. Now it's almost double, Billy. Exactly. <laughs> Bautista finally stops the bleeding, gets a point here. Bump set by Perez. Vet moves there, not too much power, but placement in between the seam of the block. Nede Bautista with eight points. We have Malaluan on the court now as Esguera. Five attacks for her, serving. Dina Wong, slight attack, Madi Madayag. It is good for Madi Madzilla getting that point as we go to our first technical timeout. Magbabalik po ang PVL All Filipino Conference. We're back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. And the fans of the Chocomucho Flying Titans, of course, in attendance. Fans as well of the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. We also have those waiting for our second offering for today. Petrogas Angels will be facing PLDT. It's a great Thursday for amazing volleyball action thank you for joining us wherever you may be one sports one sports plus signal play or the smart live stream app we have madi madayag madzilla as she is known glad to see her healthy that's right back here peak form for her she will serve ivy perez needing set to malaluan with a slide that goes to choco mucho and they are going to be calling a challenge for that. They're going to ask for a block touch. A block touch. And we will see what the final call will be. Because I saw Malaluan and she, she was pretty convinced 
that there was a touch on that. But, you know, from our angle, Jamie, it's a, it's a little too hard to tell sometimes, especially if it's on the other side of the court. This is going to be their first challenge here in set number three. Let's take a look at this. There was none. Very far off. But Malaluan, again, having a word with the referee. But the challenge will be unsuccessful for the Lady Troopers as play continues. That was way off. Dina Wong playing well today in this game. You know, try to tell her teammates to relax. Chocomucho at nine. Lady Troopers at six. Maddie serving. Good serve. They'll set it over. It's a free ball for the Flying Titans. Wong is blocked. Catolentino. Ivy to Malaluan. Gets it. Malaluan with that classic running attack that's been effective mm -hmm. all throughout this game. Great set by Perez. Just touching the block of the Chocomucho Flying Titans there. Seven serving nine. As Dina Wong will give it to Reja Rocha. Puntos para sa Flying Titans. They're not gonna call an error on the Lady Troopers. They're looking at the bench, Coach Randy. Ivy Perez not agreeing with that call. Three-point lead now for the Flying Titans. Perez, this time to Tobino with a push. Dug up by Arocha. Catolentino, she's blocked. As Wong will find Arocha. They'll give it to Reg again. Good dig by Bautista. Here comes Royce. Catolentino. Villarreal from the back row. Dug up by Molde. One to play from Dina Wong. It is point number five for our setter, the fan favorite. What a smart move. She had that split second to take a look. That's right. At the at the court of the Lady Troopers. No one was there to defend that belly. Nobody was home. Eleven serving seven. Five attacks for Dina. As Perez will give this to Tobino. Underhand set. That will be outside for Royce. And things not going well right now for the Lady Troopers. And with this, Coach Randy will call for time. Okay. Masyadong malayo pa yan, ha? Hindi pa sila nananayo. Ha? Kapitan lang natin ng Mayos. Ha? Kung gusto natin ng ano, uh, manalo, magkaroon tayo ng Mayos. Huwag yun, pabayan nyo ng retro niyan. Walang problema dun. Ha? May kaya na, may chance tayo eh. Tulungan nyo, tulungan nyo, kasama nyo. Tulung, 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 tulung. Laban, laban, laban. Coach Randy telling his team that the score is still, can't make it. They can still make it to 25. And kapit lang daw. And now is the time to fight for Army. They're down five points. They need to just work on the small little details with the receive, with the sets, and they'll be able to catch up for Choco Mucho. And we will see what adjustments the Lady Troopers can make after that timeout on your screens a while ago, we saw the fans of Dina Wong in attendance this Thursday. One of the fan favorites. We have Tang Ponce on the court right now, checks in for the first time this game. And off that timeout, Dobino, the veteran gets a point for the Lady Troopers, and that is her ninth point 
of this ball game. And that's the first time we've seen that combination play given to Tobino with that cuatro there. That's been effective, and that was also effective in their last game as well. And right now, Jamie Royce, no smiles for her here in the third set. She means business as Ivy Perez serves it. They go to Reg Arocha. And that will be a point for the Lady Troopers trying to catch up, play catch up here in our third set. Great block by the Lady Troopers there. Double block in the hands of Tobina, actually. It's a three-point advantage for the Flying Titans. And they go to Nunag. Wong to Catalentino. Good defense by the Lady Troopers. And unfortunately, that was just too strong for Nene Bautista. It goes outside. Right idea there, though. All out, just a little bit too strong. Was unsuccessful in that counter attack. Four point lead for the Flying Titans. As mentioned, the Lady Trooper is trying to play catch up here in our third set. For those who just tuned in, both teams have one set apiece. Could have been a good play there for, for the Flying Titans. Another quick or another slight attack from Luth Manaluan. Great effort there by Arocha, knowing she will go down the line, and no one able to get that second contact for Chaco Mucho. It is 10, serving 13. The Lady Troopers, wala pa silang panalo sa ating All-Filipino Conference. Chaco Mucho, two straight losses for them. So what a match we're having today. Lazaro Revilla will find Catolentino. That will be a point for the Flying Titans. That will be an error called on Esquera. Yes, and she was saying that a net touch here as she was going down to Buck. Yes, I could see her right. hands touching the top of the net as she lands. And sometimes, you know, when you're there on the court, you won't even feel these That's things. Right. As Ivy Perez gives it to Royce Tobino, she's met at the net. Chance here for the Flying Titans, and they choose Isa Molde. <laughs> it went to the back of, yes. of Esquera, so she, she wasn't able to anticipate that one. And great set by Lina Wong. The middles of the Lady Troopers thought that she was going to set Madayag there, but it went to Molde. Mm -hmm. Great job by Dina Wong. It's now a five-point lead. Tolentino avoiding those blockers, <laughs> choosing to change tempo. Good attack for her as we go to our second technical timeout. 16 to 10 in favor of the Flying Titans. We are back here. You're watching the game between the Flying Titans and the Lady Troopers. And as always, my partner will be reading our tweets with feelings for us. Go ahead, Jamie. By bestie, mukang nagigising na ang Titans. Let's go! And the other one. By Deza, ang ganda ng combination play ni Nunag and Molde. And I think we have one more. By Kathy Borromeo, ay ibaka din at Regine Arocha, 13. I think that that's all our tweets that we have. <laughs> no, we, you know, we, we did milk. say we did say with feelings, and she delivered. So we'll give her a 10 out of 10. 
It's, it's, the, it's the your accent. effort. It's the accent. <laughs> it's, the, it's also the effort that counts. Thank you, Billy. Right? So we give you a 10 out of 10 as we get back to this game. The Choco Mucho Flight Titans continue to dominate here in our third set. Seven point advantage, and this is the biggest lead that we've had yes. this whole game since that first set. Ivy Perez to Villarreal. She's been quiet. They give this one to Kat. Dug up by Nene. And here comes Rice Tobino. Wong. And Maddie was just not able to reach for it. That was a botched play for the Flying Titans. A little bit too mm -hmm. high for Madayak to reach for that with her hands. So here come the Lady Troopers. Chance for them to regain that momentum as Tobino just served it. Ten points for her. There we go. Much better. Much better attack for Madi Madayag. Score now 18 to 11. And Billy, you know, they've been playing for the longest time. Great a quick attack there since college days. So they have grown in terms right. of that connection. They have that connection. They have that chemistry. On your screens a while back, Tang Ponce. Lazaro Revilla resting for a bit as Ivy Perez will give this one to Esguera. <laughs> Esguera doing wonders for her team. Great connection with Ivy Perez for that eight quick attack there. Chocomucho not being able to defend that. And we have a couple of substitutions now for Coach Randy. We have Barbie Marzan as well as Sara Gonzalez or Sara Jane Gonzalez checking in here in our third set. Jane Gonzalez will serve. Regine to Isa Molde. Combination play for the Flying Titans. Great ball distribution by Dino Wong here with the pass. Great swing by Molde. Great receive by Orocha. And with receive, Billy, you're able to run your offense smoothly. You're able to do combination plays and not be so predictable. Right now, Dino Wong is a Sixth best setter in the league in terms of our rankings with 3.89 excellent sets per set. So far, great performance from her in this game. Much to the delight of Coach Dante Alonsonurin. However, Lady Troopers get a point as Esguera is on deck to serve for the green shirts. One hand set to Maddie. Minimal effort there. That was Marzan, was going for that push, but it goes outside instead. Are oh, they going to talk to Madi Madayag, first referee? Are not able to, to hear that conversation, but what do you think happened there, Jamie? I'm a little bit confused, actually, with the ref calling Madi Madayag there. But at any rate, Score now is 20 to 13, seven point advantage for the Flying Titans. Hopefully we get to clear that later on, but right now, time for the Lady Troopers to get their offense going. They go to Red Rocha, good dig. Maltisa will try another good dig, this time from Isa Molde Arocha again. Just outside, she's looking at the bench. She's looking at the bench. Are they going to call a challenge? Oh, that point. They're going to say, well, that point, correct me if I'm wrong, went to the Flying Titans. Yes. Reg Arocha saw a touch right. by the Lady Troopers. But the Lady Troopers are saying there wasn't any. That's and right. that's what they are challenging right now. That's right. So let's see if it's going to be successful or unsuccessful. This is our third set for those who just tuned in. And quite a game that we're having right now. Reg Arocha. You can't really see it on your screens, but I'm I'm assuming she's cramping because Isa Molde is massaging her calf. 
Now's the time to do it, Billy. There's time. Right, Very on the court. <laughs> so this is also a little bit of a breather for, for our teams, especially when rallies get longer and the spikes get harder. We won't say cramp, but we'll say that she's a bit tired, obviously. You can see that. As we take a look at our screens, was there a block touch? They're saying there's none. Army said there's none. They awarded that point a while ago to the Chocomucho Flying Titans, but that point now will go to the Lady Troopers. Good call by Coach Randy, the rest of their coaching staff. The challenge is successful. Oh, there it is. That's what we were talking about. We, we weren't able to see it. They go to Arocha. Good defense by Tobino. That is outside. That is outside for Barbie Marzan. And right now, it looks like the Chocomucho Flying Titans are on the brink of getting this third set from the Lady Troopers. But we'll see if they can stage a comeback here in this set. The score, Billy, is seven points ahead from Lady Troopers. They're struggling right now. <laughs> and they just gave that one away. Nobody was there to pick up that ball. There was clearly a hole in the, the defense of the Lady Troopers. And right now, Chocomucho is at 22 as we take a look at that. <laughs> Great job by Arocha. She's been that shining light no, for Chocomucho. And adding that energy that's needed to uplift this team. Exactly. And she has seven points under her belt. We have Dina Wong, nine excellent sets for her. Tobino, challenging the blockers. They go to Reg. No go. Tobino sends it over. As Dina Wong, back to Arocha with a drop ball, picked up by Villarreal. They go to Tobino. Ball is still alive, what a dig by Tang Ponce. Great defense from both our squads as Perez finds Tobino. Arocha. A series of fast plays, which will end with a point for the Lady Troopers and Tang Ponce. Both teams were everywhere. Tang Ponce, great effort by great both effort. teams. You know, you see her, she, she was sliding everywhere <laughs> on that court. <laughs> and she's one of the, the best personalities also. Yes. She brings that energy to the team. And that's what she is known for, for as Ivy Perez serves with the help of the net. And they are hanging on here, Jamie, in our third set. And every point matters to the Lady Troopers right now. They are down six points. And we go with a timeout called by Chocomucho. Coach Dante giving specific instructions to Dina Wong for her offense. And you have Arocha, I think, believe cramping on her legs here. This is the first time that she's right. playing a full game. So Agree. You can bet her body is getting used to it. That's right. Well, it's different when you're at practice and we're, when you're actually playing a game. And we have Catolentino as well. She will. She's limping on her way back to, to the bench. Hopefully, nothing too serious. We'll we'll get some updates regarding that later on. But right now, we have Caitlin Verai who checks in for the Flying Titans. It is 16, serving 22. Lazaro Revilla, also back on the court. 
Villarreal will try. Picked up by Wong. Denden gives it to Arocha. That's too much. <laughs> she was asking for a check. Referee will not budge. And it was evident, Billy, with that spike. After she spiked, she was able... If you see here on your screen, the oh, check yes. ball. I stand corrected. That is yes. going to be a check ball, and the point will go to Rechu. And she saw that right after she spiked it. She saw that it hit the finger of one of the Lady Troopers. 23-16. Single block by Nunag. Another chance here for the Flying Titans as Wong will give it to Isa Molde. She's denied. Single block now by Malaluan. They prepare for Isa Molde, picked up by Perez as they go to Tobino. What a dig there by Ponce. Perez. They go to Jeanette Villarreal. Another rally that we're having in this third set. They give it to Caitlin. Dug up by Ivy. Dan Ponce will set up the And what floor defense we're seeing from both our squads as Isamode wants to end it. Not yet, says Army. Here comes Royce Tobino. Right in the hands of Tang Ponce. Viray. And that is off the block for Caitlin Viray. She just came off the bench. Quality minutes. First point for her in this game. And Billy, that was the longest rally in this set. Viray ending with a kill. Quality minutes, like you just said. Adding what she also has been watching, no? Coming from the outside mm -hmm. and adding that on the inside, and it changes the dynamic, and exactly. it's working. Set point now for the Flying Titans. If they do get this set, which they are poised to win, that is two straight sets, one for them. The first one belongs to the Lady Troopers, or belong to the Lady Troopers. Ivy Perez, they go. Oh, the ball is back here for the, for the Lady Troopers. A miscue on the part of Jeanette Villarreal and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. They outlast the Lady Troopers in our set number three. The Flying Titans fans here very happy with how that third set played out. 25 to 16 in favor of the Flying Titans. We will be right back. We are back and you're still watching the PVL All Filipino Conference right here on One Sports. This is a game between the Chocomucho Flying Titans and the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. And the Flying Titans take set number three from the Lady Troopers. And it was a different team that we saw here in this third set, team. Yes, Billy. There is a collective effort that is happening amongst the Chocomucho Flying Titans. They're playing as a team. Everyone is stepping up. 
the errors that occurred in the second set were now being fixed for the third set. And you can see Dina Wong adding variation to her offense, setting the middle, adding the combination play. And the people coming off the bench as well, they're doing their job and they're both being effective. As we take a look at our set three statistics and numbers on your screen, what stands out to you the most, Jamie? Well, the attacks of the Chocomucha Flying Titans are dominant with 16 and nine from the Lady Troopers. Two blocks from the Chocomucha Flying Titans and one from the Lady Troopers. One ace by the Lady Troopers and seven errors by the Lady Troopers and five by the Chocomucha Flying Titans. 16 attacks from the Flying Titans and just nine for the Lady Troopers. What a disparity in those numbers. Caitlin Virai starts this game here in our fourth set. So it is now or never for the Lady Troopers. They have not won a single game in our All-Filipino Conference. The Chocomucha Flying Titans, they want to bounce back after losing two times straight. Back-to-back -back losses for them. We did say this a while back, but it is redemption time for both our teams. Here we go, set number four. Virai will try a little too low on the attack. We are welcomed by an attack error from Caitlin. And we do know that Kat Tolentino, she's not starting here in this game. Why isn't she starting, Jamie? She currently has cramps right now, Billy. So she is here on this side stretching with their PT. But she's still cheering on for their team right now right. because they still have a deep bench with Caitlin Verai. And I'm sure that she is happy that Caitlin is on the court right now, That's proving right. her worth. And she will try. <laughs> she succeeds. And we, we see the bench of Choco Mucho just really happy that, that Caitlin is there alongside Rech Arocha as well. I mean, these two players haven't seen you know, a lot of minutes the past few conferences, so it's great to see them getting that playing time. It's important also, Billy, to have that opportunity. I mean, right. the talent is there, but sometimes the opportunity is not given. And luckily with them, they're succeeding and right. scoring at the same time. Exactly. And of course, if you have that opportunity, you really have to milk it. That's right. Virai again! Second straight point for Caitlin Virai. And you know, Jamie, in that previous game, she only had one point against Petrogas. She had two points. But right now, she has three on her way to hopefully doubling her, her output in the past couple of games. Arocha to serve. It's a one-point lead for the Flying Titans. Tobino. It does not go over. Oh, that is outside. Oh, they're going to call for a check. A challenge there. Blocked touch called by the Lady Troopers there. And they're going to say, as Jamie mentioned, they're going to call it a block touch, or there was a touch on that sequence. For those who are near the area, you still have time to catch our second game. <laughs> uh, that's between the Petrogas Angels and the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Let's take a look at your screens first. There was. There was a block touch, so that is going to be a successful, successful challenge for Coach Randy and the rest of the Lady Troopers. Right now, two to one is our score. As Malalu Anal, that's a two. We're at deadlock at two, rather. They go to Nunag with a quick. As Perez back set to Villarreal. Gets the point. And Villarreal was silent in the last set here. So now she's scoring for the Lady Troopers early on this set. They're trying to fix the scoreboard here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. And let's get back to our game. We have Malaluan 
on deck to serve for the green shirts. Uh, Zina Wong will give it to Nunag. She's blocked. Great anticipation by the Lady Troopers on that attack. The Lady Troopers are very experienced in the front row. They know who Dina Wong is go going to. Double block there by the Lady Troopers. And maybe this is that spark plug right. that they need to win the set. Hopefully, if you are a fan of the Army Black Mamba energy drink Lady Troopers, because if they lose the set, that's going to be you know, another loss for them here in our All-Filipino Conference. And we're fixing the, the scoreboard right now. That's why it's taking a while for them to blow the whistle as Malaluan still waiting to serve. Four. Oh, nalate lang. Oh, yun na replay ko, pinago ko, inaward ko. There you have it. It is 4-2 is our official score, and they're going to change it in a little bit. There we go. 4-2. It is Luth Malaluan on deck to serve for the green shirts. 4-2 in favor of the Lady Troopers as Dina Wong will find Isa Molde on the other side. Ivy Perez back set to Villarreal. Molde again. She was blocked. Lazaro Revilla to Verai. <laughs> and Caitlin Verai. I mean, also let's talk about her court sense, Jamie. Great timing from Virai. She knows that the Lady Troopers are anticipating that powerful spike from her, but there you have on your screen, changing it up with that soft touch. Malaluan was not there to defend. And I'm sure that the Lady Troopers were not able to study That's right. Kate and Virai, which is also an advantage here for Coach Dante Alitsunurin. Let's take a look at this service ace from Cherry Nuna. As we turn it over to Jaime Ascalon. Go ahead, Jaime. Billy and Jamie, earlier we saw Regine Arocha being massaged by her teammate Isa Molde. Well, I saw uh, the physical therapist massaging Kat Tolentino's left leg. She's suffering from a little cramp, but she said she is ready to go and she, I believe, wants to go back in. It just shows that how intense this game has been because even in the Army side, Royce Tobino was caught massaging her uh, knee on the other end as well. We'll take you back to the fourth set and let's see if Choco Mucho can close this one out. Thank you so much for that, Jaime. So a lot of people, you know, getting cramps. I mean, it's been a, it's been a tough game for both our teams with the, the amount of energy that we've been seeing on the court. Full and effort. Full effort, exactly. Right words for that. And we, we saw Kat a while ago. She was limping going back to the bench. Nothing serious, just, just some cramps. Well, she deserves to rest with the way she has been playing this whole conference. And Caitlin has got her covered. So she should be good. Five points now for both teams. Dina Wong to Molde. Ball is still alive as they set it to Jeanette Villarreal. She gets a cross court. Villarreal confusing the defense of Choco Mucho here. Great swing by her. Arocha not in the correct defensive pattern for Choco Mucho. It's a one-point advantage for the green shirts here in our set number four. We have Dina Wong back set to Puntan Sivirai. Perez to Esguera, dug up. Virai again, but this time she is blocked. Good adjustment there from the Lady Troopers. Esguera making those game adjustments, knowing that she will go cross court, and that will gain momentum for the Lady Troopers. And they need that momentum after dropping that previous set, the, the two previous sets. They won that first one. Right now, the Lady Troopers in the lead, eight to five, as we go to our first technical timeout.
We're back here at the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan. This is a game between the Chocomucho Flying Titans and the Black Army Black Mamba Energy Drink Lady Troopers. Coach Randy on your screens having a word with Nene Bautista. Maddie Madayag, good game for her. One half of the Twin Towers of the Flying Titans. Dina Wong, great performance as well as Royce Tobino makes her way to the service line. Her team is leading eight to five. And as Jamie mentioned, they need that momentum. They need to regain that momentum. And so far, they've been doing just that. Kate will try. Blocked. Isa chases it a little too late. And that will go to the Lady Troopers. You can see that Choco Mucho is scrambling right now. Great block by the Lady Troopers. Choco Mucho not knowing who will get that first ball. So some scrappy plays that we're seeing from the Flying Titans here in our fourth set as Isa Molde will go for the attack. Isa Molde has been a bit quiet the past couple of minutes as Dan Ponce checks in. But first, let's take a look at this. Great set by Dina Wong. Sparking in the hands of Villarreal there. Great swing by Molde. Good serve. Ivy Perez kneeling set. Isa Molde again. So she is such a smart player. Talking about Isa Molde using the hands of those blockers. Just so efficient. And we have been seeing that that same style of play ever since her collegiate days in, in the UAAP. That's right, and she's grown in the Correct. past years, and she's also a thinking player as well, a thinking spiker. She has matured right in front of us. And that will be a point for the Lady Troopers. It is a three-point lead for the Green Shirts in our fourth set. Great set by Perez, Villa Real. Spiking in the blocks of Molde and Madayag there. Effective job by her, and now she's up to serve. Key player who's shining bright. Exactly. Three-point lead for the green shirts. Here comes Molde again. And she has been leading the Flying Titans here in this fourth set. Look at her fly. Now going down the line, smart. Player. And Billy, yes, she was silent in the previous set, but it's not how you start, but right. how you finish. And the great thing about the Flying Titans is everybody's stepping up. We have Caitlin Virai, Regina Arocha as well. I mean, Madi Madayag and Dina Wong. Right now, though, the Lady Troopers trying to force this into a fifth and final set. Anis Guerra serving. Dina Wong. And Regina Arocha making something out of nothing. And what a dig there by Lazaro de Villa. They go to Bautista. Great defense by Denden. Here comes Arocha. Picked up by Tobino. Villarreal will try. That goes straight to the net. Attack error for net Villarreal. I have to give credit to Lazaro Revilla there in the sequence that just had happened. Great digs by her, three consecutive digs by her, and is helping the Chocomucho side. And the crowd is cheering. Hopefully, our viewers can hear that because Micah Ortiz, the veteran, has checked in for the first time here today. She didn't play in their game against Petrogas. Had one point against Creamline. They go to Arocha. That's gonna be an error. Net touch violation called on the Lady Troopers. And right now, Jamie, it's just down to a one point lead. The Chocomucho Flying Titans are banking on the errors of the Lady Troopers. We have an evidence. There was a clear net touch violation yes. going for that block on the way down. Yes. 
And th those are those are the things that you just do not want to see, especially if you're trying to play catch up, because that's just a free point given to the the opponent. We have Nene Bautista serving. Dina Wong gives it to Arocha. They're trying, we see that, talking about the Flying Titans. Arocha is having herself a game. And mind you, Billy, she even received that perfect dig by her. Dina Wong gave her that confidence mm -hmm. by sending it to her as well. And she has nine points, talking about Reg. Here comes Dina with a serve. Ivy Perez. Good dig by Tang Ponce. Babalik kay Arocha ang bola. Perez, just the net. Won by Micah Ortiz. And Mike Ortiz gets her first point in our ball game. She knew the tendencies of Perez there. Vet moves. And by Ortiz. And everybody now, Jamie, for the Flying Titans, has played here in today's game. Much to the delight of all our fans. And Micah Ortiz also providing those quality minutes. That's right. Blocked. Ah, in the hands of Verai. Oh, that was Verai. But of course, with support from Micah Ortiz. Perez. To Tobino. And the woes, they continue for the Lady Troopers. And a while back, we saw the Flying Titans playing catch up. And now it's the other way around. And that is why Coach Randy will call for time. There you have it, some clear instructions by Coach Randy. The tides have turned here in our set number four. The Lady Troopers are trailing two points behind the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Luth Malaluan was efficient in that first set. Dina Wong, great playmaking in today's game, getting everybody involved in all players including Micah Ortiz from the Flying Titans, have played today. Ivy Perez to Tobino. Dina Wong. Tabalike Arocha, she's blocked. Great coverage by Ponce. Credit that to Tang Ponce for that great floor coverage. And all smiles here for the white shirts, Jamie. Ponce with that cover there, and the Lady Troopers not being able to defend that. And you know, the, the thing that we see as well, the great difference, is the body language that we have been talking about. There's a lot of tension on the side of the Lady Troopers, but luckily for them, Madaluan gets that point. That, tries to keep it close. That's right, with that big, quick attack, you can see on her face, She's not smiling. She wants to extend this game to five sets. We will see if indeed they are successful in doing that. It's 15 to 13 in favor of Chocomucho. Good blocking by the Lady Troopers. Caitlin Verai blocked for the second time in a row. Villarreal, the front row of the Lady Troopers know that she's going for that cross-court hit. Second time she's being blocked in that sequence. They are not letting this set drop, Billy. Take a look at that score, 15 to 14, and I wonder how long this set will take. But you know what? More volleyball to enjoy for all our fans. Here comes Arocha, powering it through, not afraid of those blockers as she sends us to our second technical timeout, Chocomucho in the lead, 16 to 14.
are back here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. That is Isa Molde on your screens. Getting a bit of a break. It has been an intense game for both our squads. But the great thing also about this game for the Flying Titans, Jamie, is that their key players get to rest. Talking about Kat Tolentino, we know that Bea de Leon and Des Cheng are not feeling all too great today. And also a chance for the for these players on the court for them to shine. And for the Lady Troopers, they are playing catch up here in our fourth set. Do or die set for them. Arocha to serve. Ivy Perez will give it to Ned Villarreal. She's denied. Ball is kept alive. Malaluan will send it over. That was Tang Ponce. They go to Molde. Malaluan. Tang Ponce, great defense from her. Unsuccessful for Vrai as Ned. We got to credit Tang Ponce doing everything she can to keep that ball alive. And it is ended by a block by Isa Molde. The defense of the Chalkabucha Flying Titans has been so, I think that looked oh, like it went uh, in the net, actually, right. Billy. A great effort still by, by Isa Molde. It was a sorry attack error from Ned Villarreal, but what about Tang Ponce? Jamie, she's everywhere. She is everywhere. And also, at least Denden gets to rest too. She's been working so hard this whole game as Perez will give it to Roy Stobino again. Tang Ponce. Isa Molde gets it. Single blocker right in front of her. Not a chance. 18 to 14 is our score. I have to give credit to Ponce for that beautiful dig down the line. Perfect up and great job by Molde executing that proper, prop, properly. And you know, these players on the court right now, two testament that you have to be ready. We talked about this and they are absolutely 100% ready as Perez will go to Villarreal. Dina Wong sends it over to Isa Molde again. Isa Molde. Isa Molde doing a great job. Touching the hand of Villarreal there. This is the time to shine, Billy, and that is what Isa Molde is doing right now. The Lady Troopers, few substitutions for them. We have Gonzalez checks in. Arocha serving. 19 to 14. Gonzalez back set to Malaluan. Gets it. The slide attack. Always effective for Luth Malaluan. Let's take a look at that sequence one more time. Great set by Gonzalez there. I mean this. Running attack has been effective all throughout this game, Billy. So do expect more sets to Malaluan on the running attack. It is now a four-point advantage for the white shirts as Oli Paran makes her way to the service line. Dina Wong will give it. And that was just an easy point for Ned Villarreal. They keep it close, three points. We have Audrey Paran continuing to serve for the Lady Troopers. Dina to Micah. Roy Sobino, she's blocked. Great defense, or net defense, right there. We have to take a look at this one. Stuffed block there by Ortiz. And then hitting Tobino as she's going down. Great job. Great collective exactly. effort. Net Villarreal. It is a no, and absolutely not. The Chocomucha Flying Titans care of this lady, Madi Madayag. And this is what they were working on all exactly. week. The blocking system. And it's benefiting them right now, Billy. Gonzalez. 
to Roy Subino finally get something just to stop that bleeding. They still have a chance here, Jamie. All is not lost for Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. The score is until 25, it so is. they still have time to catch up. And we will see if we will enter that fifth and final set. Kneeling set to Molde. Gonzalez was there. They give this one to Bautista. Too strong. You see the lady troopers slowly gaining that momentum during this time of the fourth set through the block of Madayag and Verai there. Royce Stabino, the veteran, she has been the go-to player for the squad. Lazaro Revilla will go to Molde. What a good dig by Roy. Segorunet Villarreal dug up. No, that will not be a point for the Flying Titans. They will not be able to send that over. It will go to the Lady Troopers as we take a look at this. And with that, Coach Dante will call for time. Eight. Coach Dante giving his team specific instructions in order for them to get the next point. I mean, Billy, the score is so close, 19-21. Choco Mucho wanting to end this game in four sets. However, the Lady Troopers have shown resiliency in this set. And I mean, they're fighting for every point and they want to extend it to five sets. Well, you know, Jamie, this is a team of veterans, and That's right. they're used to situations like this one. Their past games they have played, you know, they may have lost in this game, but they were great in those games. They fought back in those games, and right now, it's just a one-point lead for the Flying Titans. And they're shooting themselves in the foot, talking about the Flying Titans. Roy Sabina will serve. Dina Wong, Isa Molde, right in the hands of their libero. They go to Bautista, dug up by Molde. She's doing everything she can. She sends it over. It's going to be a chance here as they go to Net Villarreal, but she is blocked. Massive block from the Flying Titans. They're up by two. Great stuff. Block by Madayag there. But we can see, Jamie, that the Lady Troopers will be calling a challenge for this. A very important challenge. They're saying there was a net touch. They're saying that there's a net touch and they call Kate Perai was ready to serve. And this is also perfect time for these two teams to regroup as we head on to the latter, parts of, latter part of this set, number four. Now, for those who just tuned in, the Lady Troopers are trailing behind in this game. Just one set for them. As we take a look at this replay, was there a net touch? It seems like there wasn't any. There was no, there was no movement up top. So it is a clear play that will be unsuccessful for the Lady Troopers, the Chocomucho Flying Titans. They're up by two points. No net touch call there on Madi Madayag as Kate Verai will serve. Gonzalez will give it to Nene Bautista. Gets it off the block. Crucial point for the Lady Troopers there. Bautista spiking through the hands of Madayag and Wong there. Now this is crunch time, it really. Is. I mean, the score is so close, 22-21. And you know what, at this point, Jamie, it can really go either way. You, you, you can't tell who's gonna get the set as Net Villarreal will serve. 
Dina Wong, they need this point. Isa Molde. Not today. Here comes Nene Bautista. Molde. There was a touch on that. Will be a touch on that. It's back to a two-point advantage for the Chocopucho Flying Titans. As the Lady Troopers and Coach Randy will call a timeout. Kapit Lang says Coach Randy of the Lady Troopers. Now is the time for his team to fight. The score is so close, 21-23. Now is the time to give your all. Exactly. And for the Lady Troopers, if they lose this set, they are still going to be winless in our All-Filipino Conference as we have some substitutions for the Toko Mucho Flying Titans. Dina Wong, Kate Garay take a break. And of course, Hurricane Katrina back on the court, well-rested. She is ready to rock and roll here in our fourth set. Jen Ferrer also on the court right now, our veteran setter for the Flying Titans. Isa Molde on deck to serve. Perez will go to Esguera. She's blocked. Perez again to Esguera. Better attack. Great digging by Molde. A chance here. And will she take a look at that, Jamie? Just a one-point lead. Tense moments in our fourth set. Let's get up for that A quick attack. Chocomucha not being able to defend that. And great discard there by Ivy Perez to take that risk in setting her middle blockers. They gotta stay composed. Both teams gotta stay composed. Esguera, she will be serving. 22-23 is our score. Jeff Ferrer back set to Catolentino. And Katrina gets the point off the bench. Delivers as expected. The leading scorer for the Flying Titans the past couple of games. Perfect set, no? By Tolentino. And Tolentino is coming from the bench here. Quality minutes in this last, in the fourth set. So now is the time. I mean, match point. Match point, you're right. Choco Mucho Flying Titans, Maddie serving. As Ivy will go to Nene Bautista. And it's not over yet. She has been doing that for the past couple of sets. Jamie, she's been using the blockers of Choco Mucho. That moves right it there. It is exactly a veteran on our screens. Nene Bautista serving, she needs a good serve. Jeff Ferrer will go to Cato Lentino. Royce Tobino. Gets it through. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are tied 24 all. A timeout will be called. We gotta listen in. Coach Dante telling his squad to have confidence. Now is the time, Billy. I mean, we're off our chairs here. It's too intense for the game. Now. Exactly. I mean, we do not know how this game will end. Okay, for the Lady Troopers, they lose the set. It's over for them here in this game. For the Flying Titans! What a lucky break for the white shirts. That will be a very crucial...
crucial service error for the Lady Troopers, Jamie. I mean, now is the time to not make those unforced errors you're giving three points at such a crucial yes. time of the game. It is match point for Chocomucho. Dina Wong to serve. Ivy Perez will go to Royce Sabino. That was a lot of credit. No, that was good defense. Just way too strong. And of course, we can't forget Royce Sabino. Great right? during, during that. Yeah, right. exactly. During that end game, Jamie, you will go to your tried and tested players. And for both these teams, it's Cato Lentino and of course, Royce Tobino. But right now, Kat is not on the court for the Flying Titans as Ivy Perez will serve. That was a good serve. What a good dig! That was inside, Jamie saying, clear in. Clear in. Credit that to Nene Bautista. Villarreal, I mean, my gosh, no wow. fear. And that barely hit the line, barely. We are at set point now for the Lady Troopers. Are we going to a fifth and final set? Perez to serve. Good serve again. Wong will go to Virai. And we are moving forward to a fifth in final set. What incredible volleyball from both our teams. And Jamie, just to tell you, I've, all the, the games I've covered has all been five sets and more volleyball when we come back. We gotta take a look at our set scores. 23, 25, 25, 20, 25, 16, 25, 27. 40 minutes of play for that set number four, Jamie. And we have to take a look at our highlights. Well, both teams, Billy, the makes or breaks of the teams right now. I mean, in that fourth set, Choco Mucho is ahead. The Lady Troopers gained that momentum. And the Lady Troopers used their experience. And they were able to fight in that fourth set, extending now to fifth set. And I mean, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans had their moments there. And on your screens here, we have 17 attacks by the Lady Troopers, 13 from the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Five blocks from Choco Mucho, four from the Lady Troopers. Both have one ace, six errors by the Lady Troopers, and five by the Choco Mucho, fine titles. Incredible game that we are all witnessing here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan. Billy Capistrano, Jamie LaVittoria, and Jaime Escalon for today's Thursday doubleheader game number one. Yes, we do have another game up next. But wow, what a, what a game we're having. The Choco Mucho Flying Titans with Coach Dante Alinsunurin at the helm. His first conference coaching the squad. They want to bounce back from two straight losses. Meanwhile, the Lady Troopers, wala pa silang panalo sa ating All-Filipino Conference with Coach Randy at the helm of things for them. Will they, they be able to clinch their first win here? Regina Rocha, we haven't seen her playing that much here this conference, but what a performance from her as well as Lazaro Revilla. Credit Tang Ponce as well. And how about Janet Villaria, Luth Malaluan, and Royce Tobino doing everything that they can to make sure they walk out of this arena with a victory. Set number five underway. 
Thank you for joining us. One Sports, One Sports Plus, Signal Play, and the Smart Live Stream app. What a treat for everybody this Thursday. Right, Jamie? That's right. Here we go. Torrentino hesitates. Ball is still alive as they send it over. They got Odina Wong who goes to Kat Tolentino across court. Tolentino back on the court. Billy on she the fifth is. set. She had that arrest in the fourth set and now she's here to fight. Going for that cross court spot. And she is starting here in this set. As Jamie mentioned, we have Mike Ortiz as well. Starting here too, Isa Molde, Tang Ponce, Dina Wong, Reja Rocha. For the Lady Troopers, they have Perez, of course, Manaluan gets the point. Alongside her, Tobino, Bautista, Villarreal, and Nuna. A quick attack by Malaluan there. She's been effective all throughout the game, and Perez just giving confidence and allowing her spikers to shine in this entire match. We're tied at one all. Malaluan will serve as Dina Wong will go to Micah Ortiz. They're saying that's inside. It is puntos para que Micah. And right now she has three points here in this game. Great set by Wong there. A quick attack by Ortiz. Now is the time to go all out, Billy. It really is, Jamie. It is now or never for both our squads. Net Villarreal. What an attack from her. And she quickly apologizes to Micah Ortiz at the receiving end of that attack. Great set by Perez. Going down the line there. Also oh. avoiding the block. That's right. That's right. Royce Tobino. Isa Molde. Ball is still alive. They set it over. Still playable. Here comes Kat. Topino sets up Villarreal. Then, then, to Kat. Too strong. Too strong for Net Villarreal. Emotions are high right now, baby. The vibe, the energy, the arena. They all feel this five set match right now and it's too close to call just two, the score being two and three right now. One point lead for the Flying Titans. Gato Lentino on deck to serve. Perez will give it to Esguera. Nene Bautista. She is denied. Not today. Says a Choco Mucho flying Titan. So we gotta take a look at that one more time. Dina Wong. Dina Wong. That's right. No, Dina Wong has been having herself a game today. As Kat with 18 points, big points for her. One hand set. Madayago the quick. Perez back set, Villarreal. Cross court is money for Net Villarreal. Do you expect the Lady Troopers to give the ball to Villarreal there? I mean, she's been effective going through the blocks of Matayag and Molde multiple times now. And we have been seeing that this whole game as we check in with Jaime Ascalon. Go ahead, Jaime. Billy and Jamie, you've mentioned a lot of the heroics of Jeanette Villarreal. Well, she told me earlier, she from her middle blocker to a spiker position. But she said, you know what? The coaches trust me, the veterans trust me. So that means I want to deliver. We'll see if Army can finally get one to go and get over that hump here in the first set. Thank you so much for that, Jaime. This is proving to be an exciting matchup between both our squads. It's a two-point lead now for Choco Mucho. Here comes Nene Bautista. 
picked up by Tam Ponce as they give it to Regina Rocha. She's blocked. Rocha will try, take number two. Great job by Arocha there. Great swing through the block of the Lady Troopers. And with that, the Lady Troopers, Coach Randy, will call for time. Let's listen in. Let's go. Let's go. Atin yan, ha? Walang bibitaw. Atin lang yan. Sagayin lang ulit natin. 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 Coach Randy telling his squad, don't give up. Now is the time to fight for the Lady Troopers. I mean, Billy, they are on a 16 game losing streak right now. So expect that they will fight this out. 16 game losing streak for the Lady Troopers, 16 lessons learned. We will see how they can turn things around for themselves today. Perez, Rodores Guerra gets it. It is now a two point advantage for the Flying Titans. We have the green shirts trying to play catch up here in our fifth and final set. And Esguera. As Dita Wong will find Regina Rocha challenging those blockers. Great anticipation by Royce Tobino. Nene Bautista. Lazaro Ravilla, as always, was there. Arocha will try. Finds that spot in the back too fast for Royce Tobino. Arocha going for that down the line. No one was there for the Lady Troopers. I mean, great job, great performance. Exactly, by That's Reg right. Arocha. Right now, she has 12 points. Jamie, 12 points for Reg. Minimal minutes in the past couple of conferences. Coming up big today, Ivy Perez with a slight attack. That was Luth Malaluan. And that will be a point for the Flying Titans. No good for Luth. We're going to switch courts as we have reached the eight-point mark here in our fifth set. So you know how they say, Jamie, that in the, the set number five, Every lead, whether it's one or two, it's already considered big because the, the set is so short. But take a look at this. Four-point lead now for the Flying Titans. They have a chance to run away with this, but the Lady Troopers, they cannot give up. Even though it's a four-point lead, anything can happen, baby. Yep. Anything can happen right now. Tense moments here in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Just one win so far for the Flying Titans in our conference. None for the Lady Troopers. Ivy wanted to spike it. She had blockers there. Here comes Nene Bautista. Credit. We got to credit Isa Molde. Almost a good dig for her. But what about this girl on your screens, Nene Bautista? I have nothing to say but that moves Billy. She knows where blockers are on the other side, and she's maximizing on that. Wong will go to Regina Rocha. They're gonna give this to Tobino. Good dig again by Denden. Nakapos lang ng konti. Putos para sa flying titans. Bino Wong taking that risky move with that one-two play there. Touched. By Malalulan there, no one was there. Absolutely Again. nobody was there. No coverage for the Lady Troopers. Malalulan could not get it. That was a calculated block for the Choco Mucho Flight Titans. That was Reg Arocha. Tignan natin yun. No credit. The blockers. Choco Mucho, sinundan talaga nila si, si Royce Tomino on that slight attack. They were patient with it. They waited for the right time as Wong will serve. That is a service ace for Dina Wong. And right now, the Choco Mucho Flight Titans are at 11. Lady Troopers at 5. 
got to take a look at that last service ace from Dina as we listen in to this timeout by Coach Randy. Walang Bibitao says Coach Randy of the Lady Troopers. They are down six points. Anything can happen, Billy. Mm -hmm. It's crunch time for both teams. Indeed, it is crunch time for both our teams, and this is the farthest that the Lady Troopers have come in a single game sets-wise. The longest game they had, four sets, was against Akari. They lost that one. That was Sabina with a push. Great defense by the Flying Titans. They need one here. Manalukan, miss hit. That was a sorry play from the Lady Troopers. And the Chocomucho Flying Titans continue to step forward and advance here in our fifth set. That's right, and now we have Barbie Marsan, former Akari Lady Charger, in for the fifth set as a middle blocker. As a middle blocker, and we'll see what she can bring to the table here in set number five. Ivy Perez will give a chance ball to the Flying Titans, and they go to Regina Alexa, also alive. Tolentino block the veteran right in front of her as well as Barbie Marzan. They're still alive here in set five. Ponce with that set. Tolentino in the hands of Topino there. What a great matchup, Topino versus Tolentino, Jamie. Try. And then we have Ivy Perez on deck to serve six. Serving 12. A lot of great matchups we're watching today. Tolentino. Blockers were there. Arocha sends it over. Royce Topino with the attack. Goes on line. It goes through. Janet Villarreal. What a dig by Lazaro Revilla. That will be a point rewarded to the Lady Troopers for touches for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Are they going to call a challenge? They do. They are going to call a challenge on that sequence. They're saying there was a block touch that happened. There was a bit of a scuffle that last sequence. It was too fast for, right. for both of us to even see what happened. Exactly. It was far off as well from where we're at right now. But at any rate, we wait for that replay as always on our screens. It is set number five. Anything can happen, as Jamie mentioned. Both teams essentially have nothing to lose, hanging by a thread here in our conference. A very important match as we take a look at this replay. Was it a block touch? It was not a block there touch. There wasn't any. No block touch. That's going to be an unsuccessful challenge for Coach Dante Alitsunurin and the rest of the Chocopucho Flying Titans. Score now 12 to 7 in favor of Chocomucho. Ivy Perez, veteran setter, on deck to serve for the green shirts. Dino Wong, Mike Ortiz. They're gonna call it outside. They're not gonna. They're not gonna go for that challenge. And with that, the Chocomucho Flying Titans will call for time. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Tapos na sila. Okay, tapos na sila. Okay, good. Okay, tiyan na yun lang yun lang ang gagawin. Okay, okay. 
Scott, kung sino bibigyan ng bola, ha? One step lang yan, ha? Okay, sige, go, 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 go! Let's go, let's go! Coach Dante giving his squad specific instructions on how to get the next point. I mean, Billy, the score, 8-12. It is four points, just four points in set number five, Jamie. And to remind everybody, we started this game around 4 p.m. It is now 6.49. We are enjoying this game. Great volleyball action. You're watching on your screens, Micah Ortiz getting her minutes, proving her worth. Quality minutes for the veteran as Ivy Perez continues to serve for the Lady Troopers. Dina Wong will choose Catolentino. Back set to Ned Villarreal. And that is outside. Well, we can see the bench of the Lady Troopers are going to call a block touch on that play. They're going to say there was a touch. So if this is successful, they will be awarded that point, which was awarded to the Flying Titans. Too close Too of a close match, to tell, really. Yes. You know, this whole game, these two teams have just been fighting it out. They've been battling it out. It's been a push and pull affair for both of them. Let's take a look. There was. There was. Good call. Good eye. Good call. Good eye, yes. There was a block touch. Clear as day. It was uh, the middle finger. The coaching staff, all the leaders, give each other a high five, which deserved very well. Deserved for them. It's a three points. Three points, Jamie. Set number five. Ivy, steady on the service line. Good serve. Dina Wong to Catalentino. Trying to avoid those blockers. They're going to give this one to Villarreal. Embracing that new goal for the Army Black Mamba Energy Drink. Lady Troopers. And what a play for them, Jamie. Look at that swing in between the blocks of Ortiz and Tolentino. All out, all heart. All heart is uh, the best way to describe it with how our teams are performing here. Two point lead now. Oh, that will be an ace. They're gonna call it in. They're gonna call it. They're gonna have some discussions. They're gonna have some discussions. And remember, Army has two more challenges and they will call it an ace. They're gonna call it a challenge. We are waiting. Are they gonna call a challenge? Well, they aren't. Play continues. Jamie, one point. We're off our chairs. One point. What a comeback by the Lady Troopers. Dina Wong to Hurricane Katrina! My gosh, the swing, the power of Tolentino. They needed that point to gain back that momentum. Army had that run there, Billy. They did. But we got to credit Choco Mucho keeping their composure. That was point number 19 for Kat Tolentino. Three players now from the Choco Mucho Flying Titans with double digits. Just, just be so smart with that attack. But there's gonna be a challenge. There's gonna be a challenge called by the Lady Troopers. They are gonna say that it, there was a net touch violation. I mean, both teams not taking any chances. They still have challenges left. They're gonna use it. Score right now, 13 to 11. And you can see us on the screen a little bit, standing up, enjoying this game. And I'm sure everybody right here in the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center is enjoying as well. Whether you're rooting for the Chocomucha Flying Titans or the Lady Troopers, or if you're ready to watch that second game, all right, here we go. Let's take a look. Was there a net touch? Clear as day. There was none. The point will remain. With a Choco Mucho flying titans, we're up by two points in our fifth and final set. Will they be able to avenge themselves?
themselves and finally get a win after suffering back-to-back -back losses. Match point now for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Ivy Perez will go to Janet Villarreal. Babalik sa Army Ambola. She'll try one more time. Blocked! Bryce Sabino. But Hurricane Katrina My finishing goodness. this match. My goodness. In between the block of the Lady Troopers, I have to give credit to both teams, Billy. Both had a collective effort. Both were all standout performances. Absolutely. And we are going to wrap this game up in just a little bit. So don't go away. And what a game that was. Our set score is 23-25, 25-20, 25-16, 25-27, and 15-11. The Chocomucho Flying Titans get their second victory of this conference. And our courtside reporter, Jaime Ascalon, is with our player of the game. Who you with, Jaime? Thank you so much, Jaime, and of course, our best player of the game, Reg Arrocha. We knew what she was capable of. She brought that out here in today's game, and what a performance from her as we take a look at our match statistics. Well, with your attacks here, it's very close, very tight. 66 from Chocomucho, Lady Troopers with 65. 13 blocks by the Chocomucho Flying Titans and seven by the Lady Troopers. Four aces by the Chocomucha Flying Titans and seven from the Lady Troopers. And the errors, Chocomucho 30 and 20 by the Lady Troopers. 
It was a long game. It was an exciting game. Very worth it for all our fans who watched, whether here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center or at home. And that is it for our first offering for today. Later on, we have the Petrogas Angels versus the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Now for One Sports, my partner, Jamie La Vittoria, our courtside reporter, Jaime Ascalon, Derek Alneri, and all the amazing people behind this production. I'm Billy Capistrano, and this has been the 2023 PVL All-Filipino Conference. Game number two, Petrogas versus PLDT, coming right your way.